Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. I'm in Sedic, and again with me is Blank Tester. Hey! And Matt Rocks. Hey, Lemo. And uh, Schmuck is looking a little Schmuck. different. Did you change Schmuck's gender? Or is yeah. That just... Yeah, Schmuck is Did now a girl. Did you change Schmuck's skin color? And or? Schmuck is now an Oompa Loompa. Wow. <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like a Can I just Loompa. say? Yeah. You know me way too well. Yeah, yeah. So now we are a rookie, and so now we can go to the second kind of section of events. And so this time you guys are going to see some of the special events, some of, you know, kind of the range of what they can be. So this first one is going to be a knockdown event. You know, there's a little bit of combat in this game. You can mash the buttons and, you know, swing your fists and kicks, do sick, get chains and, 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 and get boards yeah. and... This, so, oh my God. this is really just... You're so right. I'm guessing that was originally Blood, and they, they must have, like, yeah wanted to avoid an M rating, so they yeah, probably. changed it to... Sweat? Tears. Is it sweat? Maybe on the Wii, is it blood? Jizz. Probably not. It's in, in any market, is it Blood? Has someone played, I don't know, the foreign version of the in, game? Yeah, in the German version, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, there's you, you just need to knock down certain so, people. And... So, you know what this game kind of reminds me of? And you're probably gonna hate me for this, but it kind of reminds me of the uh, the downhill, uh, not hill bike boredom, the other downhill. Uh, downhill domination. Yeah, down was it downhill domination? Yeah, I've gotten a few comments. I don't like think that. that's I don't think that's uh, unfair. I, it's terrible. Uh, yeah, it I mean, kind of reminds kind me of, of, it reminds me of a, a not as good version of it, but it definitely yeah. seems like it was trying to give off that downhill That's, domination vibe of hitting yeah. people and everything. Yeah, yeah, and obviously the downhill. Yeah, downhill mark, jam. Yeah. But yeah, I guess yeah, the levels are a little bit more interesting in downhill domination. I yeah. think downhill domination and definitely is longer. I mean, even when they do get to the full levels, it's still only like you know, two and a half minutes max, okay. and. Not three cool. or four times as long yeah. as the individual parts. Yeah, yeah. two or three, really. Um, so the special levels are actually pretty tough to get gold in. You need to do really well, hmm. you know. Um, with the races, it feels like... Glove you... 2? Yeah. The legendary Glove uh, 2. I, with the races, if it, feels like, it feels like if you get a good line, you'll win. With the tricking events, sometimes you win perfectly, but like... The special events you have to try pretty hard. Hmm. Um, so now here's a destruction event. It's pretty much like the knockdowns one, but you just ride into random debris and you get points for it. You know, right. you get that these, shit out these of kind of these kind of events seem stupid. I don't really know what they're here for. Like, um, yeah. Like, could you imagine if 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 downhill domination had an event where I was just supposed to like run over like animals? The, like the thing is, downhill domination was like. It, it had a bunch of features, the features were well implemented, and the only mode in the game uses all the features. Exactly. This seems like it Instead, has... Instead, a lot of other extreme sports games try to implement, like, a bunch of smaller features, and because they're trying to implement them, they feel like they need an event for each feature. Exactly. Or... Like, this doesn't this doesn't seem like well, a not, thing not that a lot of games its own but... event. Yeah. It's like, such it... a boring... Uh, Unless Boring it's like thing. a really well executed combat system, but it doesn't look like it yeah. is. Especially because in this one you can't go fast. You see that to even get gold, I need to stop and smash everything around, and I barely got gold. Like, you yeah. see, that's, that's... Your time was kind of cutting it close. That's and your margin right no. there. Which is kind of unfortunate because it's... It seems like if if they had put more the ra just races in the racing and tricking ones are better yeah yeah well that's yeah. the thing I'm saying I feel like if this game we really didn't need we a... didn't need this yeah this is and like would completely would the pointless. game have been better without it completely or would it be better if you if there was if there was more racing know. instead I feel like I don't know even I repeats I don't I'm not playing the game but to me that seems like a complete waste. They're probably kind of there events. just to avoid a lot of repeats. I mean, we still only have, like, three or four potential environments. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know about other people. I think I'd rather... I think I'd rather play a shorter game that has alright gameplay yeah. throughout than... Than a game um, that had, like... A game that has some parts that are just kind of pointless. 
it's I mean, it's, it's the same problem that... Well, okay, it's not exactly... I was gonna say it's the same problem that people had with Sonic 06, but no part of that game was actually <laughs> really functional, so... You know, just imagine if Sonic 06 had functional parts. Yeah. And then my analogy um, would work. I should mention, I'm not fully done with the game, but apparently Downhill Jam's shaping up to be longer than I thought. Oh. It has, like, ten different stages and levels. Yeah. Oh! Um, and upon recording part eight of footage, I'm on, like, the sixth, so... Huh. Yeah. Oh, good, we have more of this to go. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe the level... Are the level designs interesting? Is there a repetition? Um, I, I mean, I, I'm still getting to new areas, new locations. That's cool. Yeah. I, th I thought that level looked pretty neat. Yeah, I Machu get... Picchu. Yeah. Machu Picchu tends to be a good, good place It's kind for... of the green, you know, foresty mountain you one. On yeah. Video, it is there, is there going to be a level where I have to ride on lava? I don't know. There should I, be. I, you I haven't, haven't seen all the I feel like yet. no extreme racing sport game is complete until I have to ride oh, on lava. Oh shit, the, the shooting star, we're now a wrestler? Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, just wait till you do the 147. Yeah. That's your signature move. We unlock the Frankensteiner. Yeah. The combat tricks actually get more involved. You can, like, break people's necks. So it randomly picked one? Yeah, so if you see a question mark, it can pick between three or so events, and this one just happened to be in a, a new area we haven't gone, so... Huh. You know, we can go to Rio and, and see that, like, one set of levels before I, it normally shows up. I guess that's cool. I hate the really jerky camera on those little cuts. Yeah, those... There. I mean, that's obviously filmed in the editor. That's oh, what I'm shit. saying. Like, that's so lazy. <laughs> yeah. That's so goddamn lazy. Yeah. There's a lot of this game that seems lazy. All the cutscenes being filmed from one session of downhill writing. Thank you for cutting that out, by the way. I know yeah. I was asking you to keep it in, but seriously, thank you for cutting um, that out. But, yeah, at, at least up to part eight, the people talking before the events and saying really, really cringeworthy shit is all out. I, I just skip past all of that. So. so you think they did that all in, like, one, one take? Uh, the stuff where the guys are the live, the live the action, live action stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah, you could totally tell that it was all like one session. Oh, we knocked out Amon. Oh, uh, yeah. I kind of liked that rail at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. see, this is cool. This seems yeah. like it has some neat grinding. It winds cuts. back and forth, and so you kind of naturally think, what if I just jump it? Yeah. Whoosh. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I didn't think see, you this is this is pretty neat. This is, that's, I mean, I don't know. If the level was, if you could... It's still uh, the level definitely goes on. Yeah, these are small sections of the level, but but I mean, part of what made downhill domination so great was you had a, like you had these really long levels, and you only had like nine or ten of them, how, however many. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, new board. New I board. mean, whoa, that almost hit us. I don't know how most lawn boards look, but you probably shouldn't be able to stab someone with one. Well, that depends on what you want to do with it. I guess so. If you want to stab people with it, you know. But yeah, so, like, Downhill Domination had, like, how many tracks? Like, uh, eight areas. And, um, yeah, eight areas, and each, and there would be, like, two or three. Two or three, yeah. Um, I, yeah. Um, per, per area. And usually there were long tracks. Yeah. And, and then, so, like, also medium-sized ones for a different event, and then also the shorter ones. For so if you if you got rid of, let's just say you got rid of the short ones and the medium-sized ones, you just stuck with the long ones. Yeah. I still feel like that would be a full game. Yeah. yeah. Because each long track was long enough that you got to see lots of variety, and each area felt different enough, and, you know, it was a great I, game. I got a question. This game came out before or after, uh, I would think I don't probably know. before. I, I don't know. Probably around the same time. Uh, oh, look, but probably not developed by like the same people. Yeah, but, I was just wondering. but but di by dividing up these these things into like smaller events, I think they were trying to make it seem like there's more content in there than there really is. Yeah. But instead, it just feels like you're getting a, a the tiniest bite of what could be an exhilarating fun experience. You know. I 100% I agree with you there. I mean, also, like, I, I races I wouldn't be exciting. This is, this is built off the Tony Hawk's Pro, or Tony Hawk's Underground 2 engine, isn't it? Is it? These graphics is it? look exactly the same. And, okay. the, and the effect of slow motion is also exactly the same. This is just built off the, Tony, the Thug 2 engine. 
All right. I mean, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. No, 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 yeah. no. I just, you know, I just, I just realized now what this, what this is. The the graphics are exactly the same as Thug Two, and that's not bad. I'm it was just a saying. launch title for the Wii. Well, this PS... I don't know if it looked that way on the Wii, but the PS2 version is, appears to literally be using the Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Yeah. Same engine. Oh, the the, na the game is named after the level downhill jam from the first Pro Skater. But yeah, it was a launch title for the Wii, so it wouldn't surprise me if it used the same engine. Um, well, that's funny because uh, Tony Hawk... Tony Hawk's... Um, uh, what is it? Tony Hawk's American Grand. Wasteland... Uh, was that was Tony Hawk's American Skate Land a Wii game too, or was that a Skate DS game? Land. I'm gonna look oh, this yeah, up. Oh yeah, American Skate Land. That was that was for DS. Okay, that was a DS one. Okay, not the Wii. All right, I couldn't remember. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm getting these all mixed up. It's okay. There's a lot of Tony Hawk games. Yeah. All right, so let's go back to a special event. This is a cash grab. Oh man, <laughs> this I'm, whole game. I'm not talking Come about on. the game here, folks. We're not talking about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Topical humor. I hear about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 and I just want to like, nah, rip someone's fucking face open. This this reference is already dated. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Right. So cash grab, what are you doing? Cash grab. Alright, so there's gonna be coins laid out through the level, and based on the color, they give you different amounts of money. So red tokens are ten bucks, green are one buck, blue are five, and so you need to take That's a path right. through the level that gets you the money. So if you oh, get right. eight if you get eight red coins uh in a you know, within the time limit, do you get an extra life? Not that type of game, blank tester. Damn it. Not that type of game. I was hoping. Um, I can't wait for you to get to Bone Dry Dick. Yeah, yeah, Bone Dry Dick. <laughs> but That's the name of a level. Based on the uh, based on the uh, challenge of the line you take, they'll reward you. As you saw, we did some kind of complicated thing to get on some telephone wires, and that gave us like a hundred bucks. I guess that's cool. Um, and also, you know, the time counting down, the time you have, will give you bonus coins. So. A coin I for see. every second you have left, so I'm gonna shoot well over 500. Yeah. Go. So could you just gun it to the end to, like, if you just ran straight to the end, would you? It, it'd probably be better to get coins along the way. What if you just ran? If you got a couple coins and ran to the end as straight as possible? Fuck! Yeah. As fast as possible. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever the time limit is. I mean, they probably base. They pick, probably picked that so that if you just run straight to the end, you'd get, like, a silver. Yeah. You! Ranked up! Congratulations! You unlocked a new tier! We're You're not, not Steve Clymer, but Steve Clymer is! <laughs> Alright, so you see, this is normally when Rio would have been introduced. Um, I see. In the third, in the third section of levels. Twin Peaks? Twin Peaks, yeah. I was just watching Twin Peaks. Again. I was gonna say, I love that show. Yeah, yeah. That's you my know, they're favorite doing the anime. 2016 reboot. Dude, man, Twin Peaks was my favorite anime. Was yeah. Good. Yeah. I can't wait for the Twin Peaks, uh, you know, Funimation dub. Yeah. yeah. Hi Ho Miyazaki Twin... did a great job on the Twin Peaks. I can't wait for the Twin Peaks uh, XXX rated parody Twin Cheeks. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. Wow, wow. Twin cheeks. Twin cheeks. You can obviously imagine what happens between those cheeks. <laughs> I bet you a bunch of your audience doesn't even know what Twin Peaks is. Ah, guys. Guys, Get on come Netflix. On. Watch Get on Netflix. Twin Peaks. Yeah. Man. The first season's great. After that, it goes... Stop bang. updating your Facebook posts about your stupid sixth grade teachers and get on Netflix and watch some real adults, man, entertainment. Yeah. You know? It has uh, abuse and, and murder in it. Alright. It's a well, great anime. It's a great anime. Five out of ten, pretty good. Recommended Five out of ten, Blake pretty Tester. good. Recommended by Blake Tester. Yeah. <laughs> Blake Tester's TV reviews. Yeah. Alright. That was uh, the next part. We are now a barnstormer, and when we get back into Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam, we'll just... You're gonna storm some fucking barns. We'll storm some fucking barns, and we'll, you know, probably rank up again. See you then.